This video shows how to set up a VoiceThread link from your Schoology class. To set up a VoiceThread link from, your school, from Schoology, there are two steps. First, you have to add the VoiceThread link to your course. Then you have to click on it one time, the first time, as the instructor and set up where, what it, where it points to. So to do this, I'm in a Schoology course. I'm in a folder in which I want that link to appear. And so from the Add Materials drop-down list, I'm going to select Add File Link External Tool, and then select External Tool. And then from the Tool Provider drop-down, I'm going to select VoiceThread. Okay, where that was again, from Add Materials, External Tool, External Tool, VoiceThread. Then just give it a, a name. I'll just say voice thread link name. I'm not sure what this custom parameters box does. Like it does not display to students, so I'm just going to leave that blank. If you if you want to, you can enable grading, align it to course objectives, and or individually assign it. So assign that link to an individual student. But I'll just leave this so it's available to everyone in my course. So I've selected VoiceThread from the drop-down list, I've given it a name, submit, and that's step one. The link to VoiceThread now appears in my course. Step two is tell it, tell it where to point. So as the instructor, the very first time, you go ahead and click the link, wait for VoiceThread to launch, and eventually you'll be presented with these three buttons. I always choose this one individual voice thread. That tells the link to go to this one particular voice thread. So after you choose individual, you go on pick the single voice thread you want to link send students directly to. And I'll show that. Uh, okay, that's what that first option means. The other two options are course view. If you choose this option, that will direct students to a page that shows all of the VoiceThreads available to that particular course. So VoiceThread permissions are done by the Schoology course roster. So if you select Course View, every VoiceThread you have enabled in that class will be displayed as the destination. The third option is VoiceThread Home. So if you choose this, students will be taken to the VoiceThread Home page where they will see every voice thread they have access to, threads from your class, threads from other classes that are using voice thread, so everything they have access to in voice thread. I always choose this one because I like my links to point to an individual voice thread, the specific thing I want to send my students to. Once you click that link, voice thread will prompt you, do you want to add an existing voice thread? Do you want to make a brand new one from scratch? or do you want to make one by uploading media? And I'll show those things in a different video. This video showed how to set up the link from Schoology. It's good step one, you put the link there. And then step two, tell it what to do. Either point to an individual, all of the voice threads for this particular class, or the VoiceThread homepage.